Hello, my beautiful people. Today, I want to welcome you yet again to this awesome program, LTA, Let's Talk Africa. So today, I was supposed to drop the part two of the topic I treated last month, misinformation, miseducation, and misconception in Africa. But I'm really heavily touched in the spirit to do what I'm about to do today. So later on, I'm going to drop the part two of that topic. So today, let's stay tuned as we take another topic today. We want to look at why Africans enjoy living in false consciousness can i repeat that why africans enjoy living in false consciousness please you're an african or you live in africa you cannot afford to be ignorant because there's a whole lot going on in this continent so before we go on i want to first of all define what consciousness is consciousness simply means your awareness and your responsiveness to your environment being aware of your environment understanding your environment and responding to your environment that is what consciousness is okay so then what is false consciousness i'm just going to give you the simplest of um, definition false consciousness is misunderstanding your environment so is that okay misunderstanding your environment not being aware completely aware of your environment now let me give you an example a goat that is in the house a domestic goat and a goat that is in the wild their consciousness is different can i repeat that a goat living in a house a domesticated goat and a goat living in the wild their consciousness is different you know why because their environment is different the goat that is living in the world cannot afford to use the consciousness of the good living in the house to operate in the world if not you will be snack for another animal so the goat in the world understand that the world is survival of the fittest so his consciousness is different the way he behaves is different now the one in the house the domesticated goat he can afford to do some things and go away with it he can walk around free he can afford to move around alone another example a dog in the house and a dog in the wild cannot have the same consciousness because their environment is also different now dogs in the house can walk alone move around anywhere but dogs in the wild they walk in a pack you know why because they understand their environment so for you to excel in any environment you need to understand that environment but it is quite unfortunate that in this continent of ours we like to live in false consciousness false consciousness misunderstanding of our environment misconception of our environment and that is why we fall prey to many of the gimmicks by the politicians by the false pastors by the frosters and a whole lot of them you see because we don't understand where we are and of course this is as a result of what i talked about the last last month misinformation misconception so when a person is misinformed obviously his consciousness will be changed he begins to develop a false consciousness and i believe that after we treat what you're about to treat today a lot of us we understand what it takes to live in the african continent a lot of us we 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 begin to grow the right consciousness now i'm going to define false consciousness according to philosophy and i read false consciousness denotes people's inability to recognize inequality oppression and exploitation in a capitalist society because of the prevalence within it of views that naturalize and legitimize the existence of social classes do you get that definition now false consciousness people's inability to design the environment people inability to understand the environment people in inability to 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 get what is going on in their environment are you getting me now they cannot recognize inequality oppression and exploitation in a society you know why because the society has normalized it people's inability to 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 what is it called to discover oppression to be aware of the oppression in the society because the society has legitimized oppression is what we are talking about false consciousness and a great number of our people are operating in false consciousness they live in africa but they have another consciousness of the environment they live in they don't understand what is going on and that is why the fourth prey to these people this uh our so-called rulers that will promise one thing and they will do another thing do you understand but because of the false consciousness, people fall easily 
for them and after eight years you start crying and you start regretting but when you grow the right consciousness nobody can deceive you easily and that is the reason why i am here it is a calling and i must fulfill my call now i i, I make a quote this is from me chinedu or here i said that the greatest challenge of liberating and oppressed people please pay attention the greatest challenge of of liberating and oppressed people is not setting them free but convincing them that there is a better life outside oppression you know why because many of them are in love with their oppressors a b c d many people are in love with their oppressors all right now i'm going to break down the categories of people we have in africa here number one we have those who are oppressed but they don't even know they are oppressed because they were born into the system. To them, it's normal. Number two, we have those who are oppressed, but they are benefiting from the oppression. Because they are benefiting, they want the oppression to continue. Number three, we have those who are oppressed and also oppressing others. Did you see the categories now? So while they are being oppressed, they are also extending the oppression. These are the category of people we have. Those who are aware and they are standing. Those who are oppressed, they don't know. Those who think it is normal. And this thing has gone on for generations and generations and we think it's normal. The greatest challenge in liberating and oppressed people is not setting them free, but convincing them that there is a better life outside oppression because many of them are in love with the oppressors. Many have built a bond with the oppressors many are benefiting from oppression many are, oppre are oppressing others and also getting benefits from it so they don't want to stop but this must stop you know why the people who are suffering the ills of this our society are the poor and the vulnerable can i tell you something to a greater extent the rich guys in africa are conscious of the environment they are very much conscious. The people who are who, who are living in false consciousness to the greater extent is the poor people. And the more those poor people are in false consciousness, the more the rich will exploit them. The more they will take advantage of them. The more they will make millions and billions from them. Can I give you an example? Now, when a politician is going to an event in Africa, you see them in a convoy. They carry their military, they carry police, they carry bodyguards, all manner of things with noise everywhere. You know why? They are conscious of their environment. If they are good leaders, why can't they work with one or two security guards? They have to come with a convoy because they understand that they have, they, they have, they have created a mess in the society and the people are not happy so they have to protect themselves somebody said it's only in africa that you move with a bulletproof car and still move with a police escort what is the essence of a bulletproof car they don't want to hear stories <laughs> you understand but you can go to somewhere like america where you see a leader riding bicycle on the streets he's conscious of his environment do you get it now so living in false consciousness is dangerous because you can end your life quick Living in false consciousness is dangerous because you can be exploited. Living in false consciousness, consciousness is dangerous because it limits you in every area. Now, people are in trouble. They go to churches. Instead of the church to tell them that the government is the reason why you've not gotten a job for five years now because they have refused to, 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 to create employment for, 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 for the citizens and the youth, they will tell you that the problem is a witch. Are you understanding me? The problem is your, your auntie in the village. Your problem is this and that. Now, paraventure, your auntie dies. Who they said was the witch causing your problem? Your problem has not ended. Now, it leads to frustration. You cannot pinpoint the, the origin of your problem. There's a lady I know. They told her that the reason why she has not married is because her father is into fetish stuff and is the one causing her not to get married. At the end of the day, after some time, the father they were praying every day for the father to die. And eventually, the man died okay old man of course of natural causes and they were excited hey he's dead though so right now you are free as i'm speaking to you now this lady is still single so what is the issue the issue is that she has been deceived now she's confused she has left the church a whole lot of things false consciousness now quickly false consciousness can be very dangerous okay now i'm going to give you some examples of how you know a society is operating in false consciousness I'm going to give you an example of how you know that a society is operating in 
false consciousness or the people are operating in false consciousness not being aware of the environment number one is copying the lifestyle of other developed countries when you know that the realities are different i'm going to take my time to explain this copying the lifestyle of developed countries when you know that the realities are different now i always say that music movies entertainment in africa should pass a message that will elevate the people's consciousness for crying out loud africans are not americans you cannot be in africa as a musician and you are copying the style of music in america the realities are different it's like a goat in the house copying the lifestyle of a goat in the world it's not the same all right there's going to be problem now People in America and Europe can afford to think, sing about certain things, okay? They can afford to entertain their people. They can afford to do certain things. You know why? Their reality is different from ours. Over here, in great number of people over here are oppressed. And when we want to send a message, we must send the right message to uplift their consciousness. And that is why I love um, Felakuti of Blessed Memories. The man right now the things he said in his music are the things we are seeing in reality right what he sang about in the 1980s are still operating in africa in 2023 he said that he cannot live in an oppressed society and be singing about women and all those nonsense that doesn't matter his music must elevate the people's consciousness his music must pass a message to make the people understand the environment they live in and that is one thing that our artists need to copy sing about the ease of the society let the people know what is going on in the society now one of the reasons why many people are, are scared to speak out is because when you speak out the government comes after you now I, I say the reason why that is is because just a few out of a million of people millions of people are speaking out so when a few speak out they become targeted but look at the society where everybody is speaking out how many people can you arrest okay this is something we cannot afford to joke with not at all the consciousness of the people must be elevated people must know the society where they are and people must understand the society where they are so we cannot be copying people with a different reality from ours those guys in those countries can can decide to sing about whatever they want to sing about to a greater extent their government is performing is that okay there are corrupt people everywhere but when you look at them at least they are doing what they are supposed to do the people are comfortable to a certain extent but here wickedness is at its peak and you are here singing about women singing about uh, whatsoever and all those kind of things that will not benefit anybody so one of the examples of living in false consciousness is when you are trying to copy the lifestyle of people who are in a different reality from you do you understand now, some people in Africa think they are rich because they own a house and they own a car. Meanwhile, all their neighbors are poor. In the night, the same neighbors come to rob your house. You can't sleep. So, how are you rich? You are so rich, but you can't take a stroll in your own streets because you are afraid that area boys will attack you. So, how are you rich? Now, in a global scene, a young man, a YouTuber, was making an interview in uh, Portugal asking Europeans what they think about Africans. And what I heard was, all, when I think about Africa, all I think about is poverty and uh, bad governance. Most of them, that's what they said. Poverty and bad go go governance. But there are rich people in Africa. Now, when a few are rich and many are poor, the whole place is considered as poor. It's just the gospel truth. Everybody in Africa is broke. That is the gospel truth. Everybody is poor in Africa. Because of the system we have opposed for a very long time. Now, in America, there are poor people in America, there are poor people in England, but those countries are, are, are referred to as rich people. You know why? Because the majority are comfortable. So you can't be in, a, in an oppressive society and just because you have found your way around the system, you have some cars, you have some security, you have some money, so you think you are rich. A family where you are the richest and all your siblings are poor, you are poor. So we must understand this, trying to copy the lifestyle of people in a different reality is a proof of living a false conscious life are you getting me now
trying to copy their way of living, uh, their way of expression, their way of dressing, their way of doing things. Meanwhile, your realities are not different. A man in America can use 14 Pro Max, okay? And to him, it's nothing. He can use the most expensive cars. He can use a nice. He can have a nice house. It's nothing. You know why? Because everything is gotten by credit over there. They can give him the phone and ask him to pay in five years' time. Give him a house, ask him to pay in twenty years' time. But here in Africa, you don't have a good job and you want to use the latest phone in town, and you have to pay prepaid. You pay full before you, you take your your device. And you see people fighting to get a car, to get a house, to get everything because they want to look like uh, Americans, not knowing that the realities are different. Over there, they can get it for credit and pay after some time but you have to pay before you pick it up and yet you want to compare yourself you want to be a big boy you want to be a big girl you know you don't have a nice job but you want to you want to drive the nicest car you don't have a house but your car is one of the most expensive you're driving lamborghini look at the, the roads in america yes you can drive lamborghini there and everything there the roads are cool you bring a lamborghini to africa with a bad road you destroy the car in less than three months but you see us want to copy them. We want to live their kind of lifestyle. Meanwhile, the reality is different. This is what I want Africans to understand. In America, when you are rich, you pay more tax. The rich and the poor don't pay the same tax. In Africa, everybody pays the same tax. Whether you are rich, whether you are poor, you are paying the same thing, which is injustice. Over there, people hide their riches. You know why? Because the more money you have, the more you be taxed. So they hide it. They buy properties and they remove their name. They don't put their name there so they will not be traced to them. But over here, the little things you have, you brag about it. I have a car. I have a house. I have this. Meanwhile, like I said, the realities are different. So you must have a self-consciousness of your environment. You are rich and your neighbor is poor. You're a poor man. Until we all are comfortable. One person cannot be comfortable and think that he has the world under his feet. So we must stop copying people whose reality is different from our reality. In China, they produce cars there. They produce cars. So you that is buying the most expensive car and claiming that you are rich, the person that is producing it, what will you call him? Are you getting me now? They produce almost everything over there. So they can, they can, they can afford to be rich. But you buy everything over here and you say you are rich. You want to drink the best whiskey. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with living a good life. okay? But that shouldn't make you think you are something. Why is it that as a rich man, they want to buy a car? You can't go to a car company in Ghana here where it is produced or in Nigeria or in Kenya or in South Africa where and get your car at a good price. You have to go and ship it from abroad, from another country. You pay tax, you pay everything, you pay shipping and everything before it comes here and tomorrow you carry yourself as a rich man. We are all broke in Africa. Do you understand now? So trying to copy people whose reality is different from us is living in false consciousness. Be it in religion, be it in relationship, be it in business, and so on and so forth. At the same time, we begin to walk in our consciousness of our environment and know that things are not the same here and put the right things in place. It will really help us. Let's continue. Number two, another example of living in a false conscious society or living in false consciousness as an Africa is using your platform to justify oppression. Like I read, like I read the definition earlier, a system that justifies oppression. You see, uh, influencers on social media, they are, they are, they are what they are promoting and justifying oppression. You know, our society are promoting negative things. You, if you, if you don't have money, if you are poor, you don't deserve the best things in life. If you have money, you deserve. Our movies are promoting the same thing. If you don't have money, then people can maltreat you. Then when you do some ritual and get money, the society will respect you and so many things. So this is the consciousness we are building in the minds of people using platforms of influence to send the wrong message, to misinform the people, to make the people live in oppression. So an average African is okay with oppression, all right? Because everything he sees from his school teaches him that oppression is okay. You go to the bank, you are in a queue, a rich man comes in and they take him through the back door to meet the manager, they give him his cash, he's gone. So he's more human than you just because he's richer than you. That is the kind of society we're operating. And this is why we need to understand the kind of society we're operating. Sir, if the man is richer than you, he's a human like you. If he comes to the queue, he should join the queue just like you are doing. Do you understand? People come to meet a queue and they bribe people to get in front. That is the kind of society we live in. 
a man is excluded from the law just because he's richer. That is the kind of society we're living. A poor man steals, a rich man steals, the poor man goes to jail, and the, the rich man is set free. That is the society we are living in, and we need to understand the consciousness of our society. In other places, whether you are rich, you are poor, you commit a crime, you pay the same for it. So these are the things we must understand as a people, and do away with the false consciousness, okay? Use your influential platforms to promote the truth and tell the truth just the way it is let me quickly rush to the other point now another way we live in false consciousness is hailing rich and corrupt politicians and businessmen just because we benefit from them yeah there are some people no matter how evil and dangerous the man is as long as he's getting his own daily benefits from it is okay he will defend him to the left even he knows the man is wrong he will defend him do you understand? Politicians have made your life miserable because uh, after some four years, they give you some peanuts. You begin to defend them. Fella called it suffering and smiling. The people who are killing you are the people you are defending and fighting for. And they keep killing you. Your pastor is wrong because he's a pastor. He did something but Oh, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. This is the kind of society we live in. We, 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 we hail them. Oh, we don't even care to know where their rich, riches come from. As long as they have money, they are the best in the society. Living in false consciousness. We don't care where they get the money from. We don't care what they did to get the money. As long as they have the money, oh, Charlie, that's it. They come to Christians or put them in front because they are they have cash. Have you ever investigated where these people get this money from? And that is why most of our youth get involved in so many ills in the society just to make ends meet. So they can also be called one of the big boys in town. These things must change. Do you understand? We need to understand our environment and live in the consciousness of our environment. One of the examples of force consciousness is massive disdain for the truth and being so much in love with the system the oppressive system you don't like to hear the truth no 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 and check majority of africans hate the truth when you speak the truth you become an enemy they'll fight you to the to the end just like i'm doing now some people don't like it they don't even like me they won't follow me because I'm telling them, they, no, they don't want to hear. Just keep telling us what you want to know. Have you not noticed? The pastors that are influential and big men in Africa are the ones that tell the people what they want to hear, not the truth. They don't want to hear. They just tell us what you want to hear. You know, lie. They love lies because they love the system. This is what they've come to meet. So, this the hustling system. And we must change this. We love living in a false consciousness. We love it as Africans. We hate the truth. You say the truth, they fight you. Who are you to they say, hey, la, 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 la. Well, let the person come out with a lie. Ah, they will back him up. They will push him. He's the Messiah. This is dangerous and it's destroying our society. And we must work on it. I'm not afraid to talk. I will speak as the Lord gives me strength. We need to begin to create the right consciousness in our society where every person is important whether uh, poor rich whatever male female whatever as long as a human being you are entitled to everything anybody is entitled to there are things that are exclusively kept for the rich people in these societies because of the the way we see them because they have money so they are they are they are they are, they are above the law it's very much important now quickly let us round up with this what are the effects of false consciousness? The first one is that corruption. The effect of living in a false conscious society is corruption. It allows the corrupt people to continue in their corruption. Do you understand? Because while they are doing the corrupt practices they are doing, your eyes is somewhere else. Or they give you some money, you keep quiet. Because you want to be part of the big boys in the society. You shut up your mouth. And they continue to do and destroy the society. No society that is corrupt can grow. That is why Africa is what it is today. There is no society that can be corrupt and grow. No. Because while you are thinking progress, somebody is thinking of stealing it. And when he steals it, due to the system, he's, he's free. They let him go free. There is no repercussions for his actions. 
Another effect of a false conscious society or living in false consciousness is always waiting for a messiah. Oh my God. Somebody to save you. Somebody said a slave is one that sits and waits for another man to save him. Instead of taking actions to change things, you are waiting for somebody. And the funny part is that the same politicians that have put you in this predicament are the same ones we are waiting for to change the narratives for us. Messiah is going to come and change everything. We can never organize as a people, as young people, organize ourselves and place a demand. No, we will rally around one of these same corrupt politicians that have destroyed us for so long for him to save us from the same corruption that they have put us into. How does that even make sense? Waiting for a messiah. Oh, he's going to come. When his president come, he will change everything. Like we always do after every eight years or four years. When a man is coming, we choose one candidate, one, one candidate, and put him as a messiah. And when he comes, he's going to change everything. The man will come, the same story. After four years, we start insulting him and insulting him. When he leaves the office, we choose another messiah. He comes, he messes up, we insult. And when the, the we ne I don't know what kind of people Africans are. We never learn from any of our mistakes. The same thing we've been doing since the 90s. We still are still doing it today. Hail a politician, sell a politician, tell the people he's going to change everything. He comes, he messes up, we, we criticize him. The next one is coming, we heal for years and years and years, destroying lives and millions of lives every day. And to us, it's okay because we love to live in false consciousness. When are we going to organize and tell ourselves the truth that nothing is going to change except we change this system? If you like, bring Obama or Joe Biden to any of the countries in Africa, nothing will change. You know why? Because we operate in an oppressive system. Another effect of false consciousness is normalizing wickedness. Because the person doing the wicked act is my person. I have to support him. Uh, it doesn't matter. I just have to support him. Normalizing wickedness to the maximum. People carry out wicked practices and they go scot-free because we have one kind of alliance we have with them or the other. They will let you walk free. But an ordinary man who has nobody does the same thing. He goes in for it. False consciousness. And these are the things we must change in our society for our society to grow. If the rich commits a crime, let him pay. If the poor commits a crime, let him pay. If an handicapped commits a crime, let him pay. And so on and so forth. No discrimination. Everybody is equal before the law. Living a lie. We like to live a lie. Most of Africans, they live in self-denial. Reality is saying something else. But their minds are saying something else. Completely disconnected from reality. This mentality that as long as you can eat, you have a place to sleep, then it's okay. You don't care what happens to your neighbor. You don't. We need to grow to a stage of humanity, becoming humans. You care for what happens to your neighbor. You care for what happens to your neighbor's child. That is humanity. We love to live a lie. And these two must change. Another effect of false consciousness is justifying suffering. You know, I am suffering because of what my grandfather did. I am suffering because witches are disturbing me. Justifying suffering. Instead of going to the problem and solving the issue, we justify it. It's okay. Mm, suffering is normal. Mm? Some people even go as far as bragging with suffering. I, I, do you, I, have you suffered before? I've suffered more than you. And so, and so on and so forth. Justifying suffering because we are we are not in tune with the consciousness of our environment we want to justify suffering we want to defend suffering but this must change so what am i doing today i want to build your consciousness on the environment you are you live in an oppressive system where wicked people are in power and until we organize ourselves to take power from these people nothing is going to change you can bring in a messiah nothing will change how many messiahs have we gotten since independence we've been getting messiahs what has changed you must understand this thing that your reality is different from the person in america in japan these different they have a different system they don't run the system we are running a slavery system slave master system and whatever the slave does to the master does to the slave it doesn't matter as long as it's the master and the slaves always applaud the masters we must change this
and bring justice to this continent there's a lot of suffering there's a lot of dying there's a lot of things going on here and we cannot afford to be quiet anymore ask yourself when was the last time you saw an influential man in africa i don't want, I don't want to call names or the richest man in africa influential speaking about the ease of the society Shh, they are quiet you know why they're part of the system they will never talk have you ever heard anything of such no they will be quiet because they are also part of the system so it is left with you and i the common people to do what we change our own lives by ourselves not waiting for somebody one of these people because you know we idolize rich people in this in this society we idolize them and when and when there's anything we want them to do it for us but it's time that you and i need to go to the grassroots and do something for ourselves because nobody's going to do it for us can i tell you something like i said some months ago nobody's coming to save you please save yourself stop having a slave mentality you have what it takes to govern yourself you have what it takes to lead yourself you have what it takes to live in a free and fair society and until we rise nothing is going to change and that is why i'm here to awaken your consciousness you must understand that we live in an oppressive society and we cannot afford to be part and parcel of the system that has destroyed lives for years and generations now it is time for us to come together and cause a change the due change that africa deserves and i know things will change a program is coming up and when the time is right i'm going to let you know but for now think about this and live with this and i i i i am too sure that a change with desire shall come i love you until next time take care for now bye bye